All right, this video describes how the plurality with elimination method works. Now this method is similar to the plurality method, which said whichever candidate has the most first place votes wins. But the plurality with elimination uses a different word. It doesn't say the most first place votes, it says the majority of first place votes. So let's talk about that for just a second. All right, so there's a total of 46 votes for this election going on here of appetizers, entrees, and desserts, right? The 21 plus 13 plus the 7 plus the 5 gives us a grand total of 46 votes. Now, the majority means more, slightly more than half. The majority is more than half. That's a key. So in this particular case, half of 46 is 23. But we're not looking for half of the votes, we're looking for more than half. So rounded, 23 rounded up to the next number would be 24. All right, so half of the votes is 23. That's half of this total right here. But what we're looking for is we're looking for 24 or more. That's what majority really means. It's 24 or more in this particular case. Oops, I'm kind of writing over the 24 there. So 24 in this case would be, uh, sorry, 24 or more is considered the majority. That's what I meant to say. Now, um, let's say just for, just for an example here, I know the total of this particular example is 46, but let's just say for a second here that or instead of our, our total being 46, let's say it was 47. If you took 47 and divided that by 2, you'd get 23.5. That would be exactly half of 47, right? This number here would be 23.5. But do you still see that majority is 24 or more? Because you can't have 23.5 votes. That doesn't make sense. So anytime you end up with a decimal, um, you're automatically just going to round up to the next whole number. Or even if you end up with a whole number, you're automatically going to round up to the next whole number because you're looking for more than half. All right, so now we've established what a majority is. In this particular case, majority is 24 or more. All right, so now as you can see, the, the majority is 24 or more of the first place votes, and the entree has a total of 21 first place votes right now. Right, that's this right here. Um, let's see, the desserts were both the 13 and the 5, so they have a total of 18 first place votes whereas appetizers only had seven first place votes. Okay, so what I'm really showing you here is neither one of these, and, you know, the entrees, the desserts, the appetizers, none of these have a majority. None of them are 24 or more. So this plurality with elimination method says, all right, well, if nobody is the clear winner right now, then we're going to eliminate, that's the whole point, we're going to eliminate the one that has the least number of first, first place votes. In this case, that's appetizers. Gets, gets, uh, we have to get rid of those. So we're going to move over here then, and we're going to say, all right, well, if I'm going to eliminate appetizers down here in this table, that means that everywhere I see an A, I'm going to cross it out. Okay. And now I'm only left with entrees and desserts because this, the, the, the one with the least got eliminated. Eliminate there. You can read that chicken scratch. Okay, so now that we've eliminated appetizers, it really gives us um, a slightly different table. In fact, maybe I, should, uh, maybe I should rework this table because this D right here, this dessert right here, actually moves up to a first place, and this entree right here moves up to a second place. Um, same thing with this entree, it moves up to a second place, and this dessert here moves up to a second place. There's really no more third place at all, in other words, because we're only comparing two uh, candidates here, no longer three. Uh, let, me, let me revamp this uh, table here a little bit. All right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. And now that we're only comparing these two candidates of entree and dessert, um, we can now retotal these up. You can see that the entrees are still at 21 first place votes, but because we eliminated the appetizers, the dessert is now 
13 plus 7 plus 5. The dessert now is at a total of 25 first place votes. And since we hit that magic number of 24 or more, the dessert is the clear winner in this case. Here we go. The dessert is the clear winner with the plurality with elimination method. You know, if there were four candidates instead of just three, let's say there was, I don't know, maybe another candidate of salads or something like that, or drinks, uh, whatever it might be. So if there were four or more or five, I don't know, whatever it is, candidates, then you would just keep moving along. You would keep eliminating, keep eliminating candidates until you have a clear winner, until somebody emerges as 24. The majority in this particular case is 24. But as, as soon as someone uh, has the majority of the first place votes, that's what you're really counting. So maybe you rewrite this table several times, continuing, continually to uh, eliminate a candidate. All right, and you repeat that process if necessary. So that's how the plurality with elimination method works.